Hey, y'all. Welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today I'm really excited about pruning up my western redbud. Um, it doesn't have any flowers at this time, but the heart-shaped leaves are really growing everywhere and crazy, and I can't even get a view of the trunk. So um, we're going to get to that. We're going to prune it back, uh, see what branching we have, and see if we can't develop some ramification. So that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. All right, y'all, so here she is. Might be difficult at first to uh, get a look at this trunk, but I am very proud of it and very impressed. And we have some nice roots coming off that trunk. So I don't wire. If you've watched this channel before, you know that. And uh, I never will. So this is all from directional pruning and uh, strategic placement so that uh, certain parts would crawl towards the sun at different times so I'm that's why I'm really proud of and really pleased with it so I was talking with my consigliere and um, I was like is it too late in the season to do this pruning I really want to do it and he said well basically if you're looking to thicken the trunk I would hold off until spring but if you're looking for ramification, yeah, go for it. Um, you know, I sent him what our weather pattern's like, and we got like six to eight weeks before a frost. So it will be able to recover before then and maybe kick off uh, some new branching before the winter dormancy period. So I just absolutely love these Western Red Buds for their heart shape leaf. It's literally my favorite. And when they first grow out, they're really light, bright green. And these tiny little hearts and it makes the tree look uh full size lifelike uh and then you know eventually they grow to their full size and you can see how muscularly this thing's grown and uh you start the process all over again but isn't that like the most fun part of the bonsai experience all right let's keep checking making sure the camera's on i have not upgraded yet but i am going to upgrade my phone so that I don't have it shutting down, running out of memory. It's really been an issue. Last time, Laura and I did a video this weekend, and like more than half of what I said was not on. And the camera that has the face that you can see facing you, if I use that one, it has terrible mega, mega, megapixels, so uh, it would be all grainy. So I have to use the one where I can't tell if the camera's on or not. All right, so what I've been doing lately uh, is pruning back to the first set of leaves, leaving a little bit of room for dieback, so cutting as close to the last set of leaves that you cut off as possible. So that's what I'm going to do all the way around, and then we're going to take a look and see if there's any branches themselves that need to be removed. So this has gotten really thick this year. Holy cow. This thing I germinated from seed in December 2018 so we're going on two years old getting some decent branching it has the shape that I'm gonna want in the future so that's already exciting so I don't have to do any change from the trunk on down some sort of egg sack here it's nasty um, yeah so that's nice and established I don't have to worry about that Already here, I've got a lot that split from one into two. So this tree really responds well to this. Apparently, when they're uh, full grown, or later on, or maybe if I didn't prune it so often, some sort of bug on there, um, they kick off these white flowers. There haven't been any flowers on this one yet, but that's okay. I mean, like I said, the leaf is amazing, so I'm cool with that. What I'll probably do is once this thing starts to bud out again, I'll defoliate the last of the leaves, but I want to give it the ability to have some energy um, while it rebuds. We have 80s today Fahrenheit, and then it's 70s mostly, dipping down into the 50s at night. So nights are cooler, um, heading into the fall. Some of you may know it as autumn season 
and we'll let this one go all the way out here. And so, uh, you know, growth isn't going to be as muscular as it as it is during summer, but apparently that is when you get the thickening of your trunk. So, it's a lot of fun. I mean, uh, the Bonsai Broski Network that we have established, it's just a lot of fun. Everybody has so many different trees, you learn different techniques, everybody's very supportive. Uh, so... I think that a certain type of person gravitates towards bonsai. You just naturally get along. You're just a, a good, down-to-earth person who likes to grow stuff and learn stuff. Okay, so it's looking pretty good, actually. I do have one branch here coming back. And it's out of the crotch of this main first branch. So even though it did, it does come back, and that's cool, it, it kind of takes away from the view of the trunk line. And I don't want to get a bulge there. Get that out. Let's see, are we still on? Are we still on? Okay. This one's kind of creeping out too far. I got a branch dividing here, and then this one looks like it's coming back a little bit and going up, so that can almost be my apex. So what I'll do is I'll take off the following branch. I'll leave the smallest bit of room for die back there. Yeah, that looks better. Let's see. Yeah. I think maybe in the future I'll remove one of these branches. Maybe in the future I will take this one out here. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this trunk. Dude, are you going to be my favorite tree? Okay, well, cheers, y'all. Beautiful Tuesday. First day back uh, to in-studio ballet for my daughter. We had to sign a contract that she would go literally from our house, not having any visitors socializing in any way, to studio, studio, and back. And that's it for the first two weeks as we wait for New York City to reopen and possibly move her back into an apartment up there. Uh, so they're doing it somewhere between Connecticut and New York City. Franny was so excited, and luckily Laura left her stupid corporate job where she was underpaid and underappreciated and overworked, and um, hopefully she'll get September just to enjoy herself, and she uh, volunteered to do the driving with Franny because she has to report in in the morning, you know, when uh, I'm working with clients. So... Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. I'm going to put some uh, photos from a little photo shoot Laura did with Franny yesterday. Uh, right after this, my daughter is 14, going on 21. Uh, she is uh, with a professional company on contract, uh, considered an apprentice because she is only 14. But she's well under her way with plans to um, be at the London Royal Ballet next summer. So really exciting time working hard um, and developing baby girl developing my trees and enjoying um, being a newlywed with Laura so good things going on at the ranch I hope there are good things going on with y'all so uh, be happy smile keep growing and uh, cheers see you next time